Welcome to this morning's live lockdown kitchen. I hope you're all well. I hope you've all had a great week. As some of you hopefully have seen from the post this week, we are going savoury and we're having omelette wraps. Why am I doing omelette wraps? Well, I've focused a lot this week with some of my athletes on protein and particularly a portable protein, something that you can either make, eat in the car, take with you to runs, training, take with you even on competition days, have as a pre-snack, a post-recovery snack. So it's a super versatile, you know me, really quick, really easy, nutrient dense dish. And also, and I wasn't even aware of this myself until I started practicing this week, totally, utterly versatile. So there's gonna be an omelette wrap for all of you. And I'm gonna show you some different ingredients, some different ways to do it. And then hopefully over the next coming weeks, when you all practice this, you're gonna send me your recipes so I can add them to my collection. Okay, so we're not baking today, so you don't need to worry about putting your ovens on, but we are gonna do a little bit of frying, which isn't like me, but that's how we do omelets. So there's always a healthy way with me. The first thing to say is when you're making an omelet, it's really important the frying pan you choose. The size is really down to obviously how much you want to make. This is a small 20 centimetre pan. So this is gonna make, I'm gonna show you one of my pre-made, I think I will. This is gonna make that sort of size omelette wrap. It, it's using one egg, so obviously you need to work out in terms of your diet, in terms of how many eggs you're gonna use, whether or not that's big enough. The alternative obviously is the larger saucepan, which would be a two to three egg, okay? The next thing is we need to get it really hot. So I'm gonna put it on my, my rings now here. And I'm gonna get that really, really hot. And then I'm going to use my spray. So this is just an old one I've bought. It's had something in it at some stage and I filled it full of avocado oil. Now I've talked to you in the past about the benefits of spending a little bit extra on the oil you use to cook with because we don't use a lot or we certainly shouldn't be using a lot. We certainly won't be using a lot if we put it into a spray bottle like this. So avocado oil, coconut oil, there are others out there, are very good. They've got a very high smoking point, which means we can get them super hot without them turning into a bad, nasty trans fat. So I use avocado oil because it doesn't have a flavour. If I'm cooking something Indian, Thai, I might use coconut oil. It's slightly cheaper. It's down to your preference. Right, now that, that's been on for what? About 40 seconds? I'm going to put... I'm going to put about five, five sprays of oil in the base of that pan. And whilst that's heating up, we're going to break one egg and we're going to whisk it really, really well. We don't want to see any of the clear egg, okay? And that's another massive, massive part of making omelette. You don't get a good omelette if you don't whisk it well. So just with a fork, heat it round. Get it so it's all combined and we're pouring it straight into the pan, okay? So when we pour it in, we want to hear it sizzle, if you can hear that, and we want to start to tip the pan north, east, south and west, okay? Tip it round so we have an even distribution of egg, okay? Pop it back on there. Now, we're doing omelette wrap. Omelette wraps take seconds, okay? So I'm gonna to have to explain this really quickly to you. As Soon as the egg has cooked on the top, so all of the liquid egg is gone, we're ready to flip. I use one of these for my flipping, but you can use a fish slice or whatever else you like. Okay, et voila. Just very, very gently ease it round the edge and then let me put it down so I can do this properly and then I can show you. We're going to put it in on the other side. Now, again, on the other side, it's literally going to take about 20 seconds. So please keep your eye on the omelette wrap. We want them really thin. What we're doing today is we're replacing what is a traditional wrap, which is a carbohydrate based um, product, a bread product. Because we're going high in protein, we're getting rid of that and we're replacing it with the egg. So let's take this off now. I'm just going to leave it for a minute to cool down. With these wraps, they are wafer thin and we're going to use them ideally as a portable way of having a sandwich. So we want them to be really, really cold before, or certainly at room temperature, before we start to add all of our fillings. That's why I've made some earlier. However, there's no reason you can't have this dish hot. So if you're cooking with me now and you want it as a brunch, then 
start filling it as you will and have it hot and obviously obviously for you guys who are making this afterwards same applies we're not going to have this hot we're going to have ours at room temperature or cold as if we're taking it away with us i've been a bit ambitious today because whilst i was getting everything organized this morning i thought what am i going to do if i've got all these leftover um omelette wraps i thought i'll just dice them up and throw them into a stir fry later on and i thought oh i'll just do a chicken chow mein version of a wrap so you're going to be cooking that with me as well in a second let's just take that the omelette wrap i've just done slide it out onto there now for though that's i'm not an omelette chef most people know this so for me to be able to achieve this having practiced it maybe five or six times it's super super easy just think decent pan very hot four or five sprays of oil bob's your uncle okay no i don't like waste so one of the we're going to do um omelette wraps two ways today the one that i said i was doing with you all which is the scottish version with smoked salmon which we're going to build in a second and then we're going to do my chicken chow mein which is a bit of a throw in and i'll add it in as a recipe for you guys so you all have the recipe so we're going to use the same pan let's get it super hot again again you could use sesame oil at this point but i'm just going to go for convenience with the avocado again i'm only going to do three sprays i think what we've also got to be quite uh, mindful of here when we cook is the way we cook because we can have loads of healthy ingredients and then we can just pour a load of transy fats that turn to trans fats at high temperature or unhealthy cooking methods and you really are completely uh, destroying all the benefits of the healthy ingredients you're using so i've used three sprays for this now this is my chicken that i marinated a couple of hours ago you can do it overnight if you want so it's half a chicken breast here with tomato puree tamari not soy tamari is higher in protein lower in salts higher in antioxidants so if you can pick the tamari okay um it's also got spring onions and some fresh ginger and fresh garlic okay if you've got your own extra little vegetables etc you want to put in here i've no problem with doing that so that's just the one i've gone for right it's going to go into the very hot pan okay i'm going to let that cook while we talk through the benefits of the ingredients in here i've gone for a free range chicken breast i cooked half before so that's the other half in there I've sliced it really thin for two reasons. A, I want it to be a super quick dish you can make in seconds. So the chicken at this um, very thin strip will be cooked in about six minutes. The other reason is when we're rolling it into the wrap, clearly the smaller we, we cut it, the tighter we can roll it. So that's that. Protein, chicken is one of our best forms of protein. So we're going egg on the wrap, and we've got the chicken base so if it's a post recovery this is a phenomenal dish for you guys to make it's all low in cal calories so if you're on your low body mass index which i know you runners love to to stay very very trim this is also very low in fat and calories okay the egg can i just point out in terms of protein is one of the rare complete proteins that are available to vegetarians it has all of the nine essential amino acids so it's literally got loads of benefits we used to get all upset about the cholesterol from the egg yolk. We now know there is no link between high cholesterol and eggs. And in fact, it's the egg yolk that contains the choline, which we need for our um, antioxidant, our anti-inflammatory. So if you're doing it as a post-recovery, when we're looking at your muscles resynthesizing, that's your protein, we also look at anything which helps reduce inflammation that's your choline so don't miss the egg yolks out i know we can do it as an egg white but unless you're on the keto and we know that we can only do that for a very small periods of time keep that egg yolk in because it's got loads and loads of vitamins as well okay let me just give my chicken a bit of a squiggle we're halfway through cooking time now you can see the size of those little pieces of chicken it's got that gorgeous like caramelizing happening from the tamari from the tomato puree little spring onions in there we've got about three minutes left on that which gives me just enough time to do my first wrap with you okay so like i said i'm using ones that i cooked this morning that have come down to room temperature okay so they're easier to work with because they're cool 
in terms of rolling, wrapping and the filling's not melting if you're using like cream cheese and hummus and stuff. Now, I said we were going to work with the Scottish version and for that I'm going to use smoked salmon. However, I know smoked salmon is not always available and it's not to everyone's taste. The benefits of smoked salmon is it's a, a fatty fish, so it's full of really healthy omega-3 fatty acids. They're brilliant, okay? And in terms of when I talk about the benefits of healthy fat, you don't get much better than this. The other thing to say is it's no longer as cost prohibitive as it used to be. You can even get now the trimmings, so the smoked salmon trimmings are about half the price of buying the smoked salmon and perfect for this dish. We don't need it to look fancy, we just want the benefits in the taste. So consider that next time you're in the shops. If you don't like the taste, not a problem. Poach up a piece of smoked, um, a piece of salmon or buy it pre-made and then just flake it into this dish. It will be just as good and just as healthy. Right, now I've given options, creme fraiche, Greek yogurt. I'm just gonna go with a base of natural yogurt on this particular wrap. Again, if you prefer, the Greek yogurt, whatever, something like that, then please do that. Don't go hell for leather, okay, because it's going to come out all the different sides. And try and sort of keep it just from the outsides, okay? And then onto that, take some of your smoked salmon. And then who does not love a squeeze of lemon on their smoked salmon? There are obviously benefits to anything I cook with, and we all know that vitamin C in the lemon. Tastes incredible. I'm going to add something else now which will work with it. So here's my lemon going on. Those of you that follow me week in, week out know I'm obsessed about putting lemon on any food that has iron in it because the vitamin C helps bring out the, the iron absorbency from the green leafy vegetable or the iron source. Now I've got different options. You can have rocket if you can get hold of rocket or you like the taste of it. Those of you who haven't tasted rocket before, it's super, super peppery, so it works really well in this dish. But equally, and I'm going to use this with my chicken, we've got, I've just carved up some spinach here. So pick something green, basically, and sprinkle that again in the centre. I'm just going to switch my chicken off now. Please, all of you, we've all got different temperatures going on here and different saucepans that cook things at different rates. Please just make sure your chicken's cooked. I'm not going to give any of you any camp of the Okay, that's off. Now, again, this is preference. You can have some salt, a tiny bit of salt, and as much pepper as you want. Pepper's actually really good. They use it, obviously, a huge amount in Indian cuisine, and it has loads of medicinal properties out there, so go help love on your pepper. I gave options for those of you who wanted, I've forgotten to put it on, going to be honest, but I gave options to have some mustard. Mustard is super with this. It really works with the plain yogurt, cuts through with the salmon. It's really, really good. So if you haven't thought to try it, give it a little try and let me know your views. Now, simple, hold it at one end and don't be shy. Just roll, roll it all the way over. And then depending on how you want it, I have said in, the, in my recipe, you can cut this into coins and take it as like literally pop it in the mouth if you're driving or if you you know, if you want to take it with you somewhere, cut it in half, put it in a takeaway box or in some tin foil. I'm going to cut this one in half. Hold it up just to show you how pretty that looks as well. I think we all eat with our eyes, don't we? So it's always good that something looks great. The other thing to say is I'm a massive fan of these little takeout boxes. They're perfect. I mean, you can imagine from that how many of these we can fit in. That's only taken up half my box. So two egg worth, which is probably about right. You could fit in one of these. I got these in Amazon. I use them all the time because you can freeze them as well. They've all come with lids. You get a hundred for like five pounds. So realistically, guys, if you're wanting to take these out with you, invest in some of these and then just pop them in. Right, so that's that one done. Okay. Now, we've taken that one off, it's hot, what did I say? We shouldn't really work with the hot, particularly chicken and then eggs. It doesn't seem right to be adding the heat back in. So, unless you're going to eat it straight away, I'd bring your chicken down to a room temperature as well. So, lucky for you, I obviously made some early this morning. So, that's the other half of the chicken breast. That's half of a chicken breast, and I'm going to use, again, one of the smaller wraps. So, all I've done with these, by the way, is I made them a bit like you might make your pancakes. Just put a little sheet of freeze-proof paper in between each one just to stop them from sticking together. 
and then they're ace they're literally like so usable in terms of building your wraps now i've got my chicken before i wanted just to say i'm going to add three extra ingredients to make this a balanced wrap i thought what have i got in my fridge this morning could have been something optional i've gone for grated carrot i've diced up really fine some green uh, spinach and i've got some red peppers now i'm going to use them raw because as i keep telling you all the, the less processing or heating that you do to a fruit or a vegetable the higher the benefits the higher the micronutrient content vitamins minerals sadly they don't like heat they don't like it as well if we cut them and then we just leave them for a day or two so as fresh as you can and as few as little heat or processing as possible that said if you really don't like the taste of any of these raw you can add them in within about a minute towards the end of cooking time to your stir fry it softens them it starts the caramelization process which makes them slightly sweeter which is why everybody prefers stuff cooked but we can still retain most of the um, micronutrient content but for those of you who don't have a preference let's just go raw okay so i'm sort of tempted to use my big wrap let's go big right so this is a two egg Okay, slightly bigger. In goes the chicken. So quite a generous amount. That's only half a breast as well. So it's, it's, you can have a couple of these if you're having it as a main meal. And then just sprinkle over. Now, I haven't, partly because I need to create one, I haven't yet thought of a sort of spread that's going to work well with this. You can just at this point, if you want, a little small amount of this just to sprinkle over it. But alternatively, you could have some plain yogurt, add in a couple of Chinese ingredients. So maybe I would put a little bit of soy in, I'm thinking on my head here, a little bit of soy, maybe a little bit of fish sauce, maybe some ginger, some garlic into your yogurt, whip that round and put it on the base. So something like that. None of that horrible, sweet, sticky sauce though in the tubs, okay? Promise me. Okay, now again, we just roll this up. Again, don't be shy. You wouldn't believe how robust the egg is by now. And then again, don't know, I'll do it in half. So there is omelette wraps two ways. That is the one, obviously, the chicken chow main version. Clearly, if you like bean sprouts, throw some bean sprouts in. Remember, you need to cook bean sprouts, okay? So throw them in with a couple of minutes to go from cooking. And if I had it, I'd sprinkle this with loads of coriander. I'll just put a little few. I can't have a plate of food without a little bit of more colour on. So you can obviously add a fabulous salad to the side of this and put some of that in your takeaway box as well if you want to add a little bit more of your vitamins and minerals. Um, I've added on the recipe card, there's the Greek version where we spread the base with the hummus, then we add a little bit of um, pitted uh, olives, we fry up some cubes, so again go small, cubes of halloumi, and roll it all up, we, I added my spinach to that one as well. There's so many options, there's the Mexican option which is a bit like your traditional fajita, so that's the chicken, this time I marinate it in um, fajita seasoning fry it just the same way as I've done today with the Chinese version and with that I smashed up some avocado with lovely garlics and gingers put that on the base and I made a lovely tomato salsa with the garlic in as well sprinkled over all the goodies and rolled that one up so I've given hopefully lots of different options on the omelette wraps there it's high in protein it's really portable it stops you guys who are just bored of eating bread. It gives you an option on the usual bread wrap. Love to see any of you who are going to make it. Love to hear your, your feedback. Try it. It's so quick. You can have it for breakfast, for brunch, as a pre, as a post snack, as lunch. When you come in in the evening, if it's late, it takes two seconds. It's really easy on your digestion, so you'll still sleep well. There's a trillion benefits from this dish. It's really versatile. Thanks for joining me in the kitchen, as always. Let me know your thoughts. Bye, guys.